Hi, this is Matt from Boltier Industries. We build the Starlab CNC machines, and I want to talk to you a little bit about gantry height and z-axis clearance. So what is gantry height? Gantry height is the distance from the work surface or the top of the slats to the bottom of the most protruding part. So on a Starlab machine, we have approximately eight inches of clearance from the bottom of the gantry and the z-axis to the top of the slats. Now if our z-axis came down four inches, we'd have approximately four inches of clearance from the top of the slats to the bottom of the z-axis. This would give us what we would call a gantry clearance of four inches. This really inhibits our real estate that we can put underneath the table. So if you look at machines on the market today, why would you have an eight inches of clearance and have your Z axis stick down four inches? Does that mean you have eight inches of gantry clearance? It really doesn't mean that because the bottom of your Z axis is going to hit at four inches and above on your part. So you wanna be careful about clearance underneath the gantry and what you're being told and what you're being sold. A properly engineered machine will not have the bottom of the Z-axis protrude lower than the bottom of the, the actual gantry to give you that running gantry clearance height as advertised. So if, the, if this, the axis came down another four inches, we would have a gantry running clearance of four inches, right? Because we're at eight now. Does that make sense? I hope that helps you because there's a lot of machines out there with poor engineering that, that really have a, a taller gantry similar to this height, but the Z-axis sits down much lower, inhibiting and ruining that real estate advantage underneath the gantry. Thank you.